Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode on our single player world. We are back in this little area here with our texture pack on, by the way, that we were messing around with the last episode. And I've done one change. One change so far, because the others I'm kind of thinking how I will change. Uh, but I do intend on taking a lot of you guys' feedback from the last episode, which uh, might I just say, thank you very much for that. There's a lot of stuff that you end up looking at. For instance, me. When I'm just staring at these things when I, I did it in Photoshop and I just look... I'm like, that looks good, then I put it over here, and then it might not look good. And eventually you just convince yourself that certain things look good. So it's always good to get that extra opinion. And what I've done is I've changed the potatoes to a more green leaf. You can see there, they now blend in a little bit nicer. But they don't look exactly the same green as what the beach the beetroots look like. And the whole thing is, I don't know whether I would want that. Although, I think it might still look better with it like that. So... It's, it's just a very tough thing, but it certainly, in my opinion, looks a lot better than the standard Minecraft stuff. You know, the standard, uh, very bright green and stuff like that. Another one which I wasn't expecting was, um, I received a few saying that the carrots were a bit odd, which I, I don't know, I feel like I like the carrots. So I'll let these go for a few weeks or a few, um, a few episodes and we'll see how we go. Uh, but it looks like we'll keep the texture pack on for, for a while now, as long as... Like, we don't change much more stuff. I'm happy. I definitely don't want to add any more blocks into it unless we absolutely have to. But I'm, I'm pretty confident that all the blocks that we've got currently are, are pretty good. Another thing I think I actually changed was the rain color. But we don't have rain turned on in this world just because it becomes so annoying to record with. So today, uh, I thought I might as well just walk in over here. I never actually walk this way. I'm always flying everywhere and then I end up missing half the city. So walking down here, this also is actually pretty camouflaged. Uh, we are going to go to a new spot in our area that we've been working on over there. And this spot, we're going to be putting a, a brewery in. And the reason we're doing a brewery is because I was thinking about it a few weeks ago. I'm like, that is actually something I haven't actually... I don't know how it works <laughs> in real life. And I also think it would be a pretty cool thing to add in, I think. I don't know. I mean, we, we built the inn. And I don't want to make it like a tavern where there's like a brewery in it. I want it to just brew stuff, like just do that sort of stuff and the idea is not only doing minecraft brews like what we have with potions and stuff because that's that's more of a magical thing i'm thinking of like one that that does stuff for our inn over there to drink for the people who go to the inn to that pub over there they all will have stuff to drink and i'm not too sure which potion i'm going to have it producing maybe i'll produce all the potions in there maybe we can even make a little bit of an automatic system perhaps for the uh the potions we'll see uh, but what I want to do is I want to build it up on this this little hill here. You can see we've got a, a, a nice little hill. Uh, oh, of course I'd hit there. Right over here. And we might have to extend it out a little bit. And I wanted to also have this I, like this feeling that it's covered in trees. That it's a little bit out on off of the path. And you won't see it from the city directly. But you'll see pieces of it sticking up out of these trees. So we might have to get rid of these birches. Birch trees. <laughs> and regrow them. In fact, I might even try making my own custom birch tree. We, we've never done one of those. We might might have a look into that, but yeah, that won't be right now. Uh, but yeah, I think what I might do, thinking of it, is I might just clear out this land quickly and get a base for this thing started, because that is, that's probably always actually, that is definitely always a good idea. And we're back, but we are going to have a look at some stuff which I did on a stream, and I thought I'd show you guys, let you guys see what's going on, what we're getting up to in the stream. So pretty much what I decided to do is not to start anything necessarily new, and just work on a few older projects which may need a bit of polishing up, or a bit of fixing. So obviously, well, if you guys don't know, we had this room down here, and if we go down here, I've now started to do some work on some tunnels in these sorts of areas here, and people in the stream would know, they would have seen us working on it, and I just thought I'd let everyone else know that we are doing... A bunch of really cool stuff just to fix things up and polish them off and I think it'll be it'll, it'll like keep our world looking really really good not to mention just doing a few other things uh, well actually one thing that I did do and I I tried to record it but for some reason it's um it didn't save on the file that I was doing uh, that I, I tried because I tried to I tried to do a time-lapse of this is we did this area here we ended up doing all this terraforming up to around about here that was where we stopped um, that rock face was just me playing around with the rock face. I think we'll do some changes to it in the future. Uh, but this over here is an area I really, really like. It came out really well. This little pond with a few trees, and I think that's working really good. I've even put in some jungle leaves just to add in a bit more texture 
to the leaves. Just to, yeah, overall I like it. Overall I like it, plus the rock. You can't, can't avoid the rock. That, that is pretty much the main stuff we did do. The other stuff that we did is we added another layer into our sugarcane farm, which I'm not going to show you guys. It's not really too exciting uh, because, I mean, hey, it's just a sugarcane farm. It's the exact same thing as we've done before. But that wasn't all the redstone. And uh, we, we're going on to our next redstone thing, which is a project we started last week, if you remember. Well, not last week, but last episode, which I, I guess was last week. And that is in our tavern. Our inn. I was about to call it a tavern, but it's not a tavern. It's an inn. And remember how we had our redstone door that wasn't working too well for us? So we also mentioned that we needed to have a bit of a um, way to get out. Now we've got that. We can we can finally do that. Because I came back down here and I fixed it. And surprisingly, it was a very quick and easy fix. So right down here, right? We've got our secret passcode. There we go. All in. So we've got this room here now. And if we want to get out, we can push this button and everything opens up again. So we've, we've got the ability to come in and co go out as we please. Can I go down here? Yeah, I can. Uh, so this is all the redstone for this. And I'm sure I probably could have done it a lot more compact and a lot more uh, nicer. <laughs> but it's alright. It'll work for us and that's all we need. And it, it does the trick. It does the job. Oh, is this the way out? This is the way I should be taken out of here. Okay, maybe it's not. Uh, another issue we had is over here. These were where the tables were, and we've we're gonna have to fix upstairs as well because I had a few pistons pushing up to make tables. Uh, but the issue is that, of course, we had the redstone blocks underneath them, so we'll have to fix that up at a later stage. What I'm about to show you is a lot of work. It actually it it took me a, a little bit of time to do this, and you can see the the tip of the brewery roof on there. So I've decided uh, because, of course, you guys have seen me build buildings quite a lot. I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I built the majority of this building. And I think it's looking pretty damn good. Look at this. Look at that. I've, I've gone and I've tried a few things here. So I'll quickly explain to you what I'm trying because it might seem really simple when I say it, but it's actually a lot more thinking than you'd expect. So around here, oh, it's about to go night time. That's all right. Uh, around here, I built this first piece. This uh, It's a long rectangle. And I built it up like that high. And then I decided, you know what? This is going to be a very boring building if it's just a rectangle. So I added this piece on here which looked a lot better. So I decided I'd do this at different heights, play around with that a little bit and play around with not keeping it completely centered. So you can see here, this pops off to the side, which really doesn't uh, doesn't mean much, but I, I thought I'd give it a try just to sway, push off this building a little bit. And I think it does, it does a really good job of just making it a little bit different. The other thing is over here, we've got this little piece coming over the edge, which I thought was a nice little addition and I will probably keep it. I, it makes the building a lot bigger inside, and you'll see why we even need it. And then, to top it off, because of course, I um, I don't want just a plain big roof, because when a roof is, gets a bit too big, it's just a bit plain. And I decided to add this little lip in here, like this little piece up there. No real reason, just for that. That's pretty much all the reason I need. I'm going to quickly go sleep, because I am not 100% confident that there won't be a creeper coming up to, to ruin our day. So let's quickly hop in bed. And then we'll go back out there. The other thing, by the way, with this building is I wanted it to be big enough because we're going to be building stuff inside of it to make it look like an actual brewery, which uh, hopefully, hopefully I um, get everything somewhat right. <laughs> so if we go in here now through this door, this room really doesn't have any real purpose. Uh, I'll probably put it in a ceiling and then it's, a, it's just an entrance to come out here and walk up these stairs. This is where the brewery work is going to be done. So you can see, if we didn't have this room in here, it would have been a very narrow area. We would battle quite a bit to get everything in. We've also got the ability to make a second floor here, which will be quite crammed. But I think we can we can get this done and uh, working very, very easily. At least I hope so, because <laughs> I, uh, I don't, I've spent a lot of time on it and I don't want to have to pull it off uh, at a later stage. By the way, this is something else I decided. I saw, I saw, you know what? This is something I did a very long time ago and I didn't remember it. And I looked at it the other day. I'm like, man, that's a good idea. I've done my normal roof pattern where I normally put cobblestone over here. But instead of doing that, I've done a, another layer with some spruce. And I've got it from these buildings right over here. I was looking at them. I was like, man, that looks really, really cool. And I decided that would be a good idea for me to try. So I think we, we gave it a try and I think it works very, very well. And what I want to do now is I want to just add in some windows to have my glass. I thought it took the glass. Perfect. 
Uh, yeah, we, we're gonna battle with this gem. Let's just let's just do that. <laughs> uh, so I want to get some windows in here, and I think that they will. If we do, if we do something similar to what we did there, where we put in the stone walls and those there, and then we put in a window up the top here. What is that? They'll be too high. Yeah, they'll be two blocks high. You'll see what I mean by too high soon enough. If you don't understand what I'm talking about. And do we use do we use these? Maybe actually cobblestone. Perhaps cobblestone stairs would be a bit better to put over here. Do that, do that, and do those. And how does it look? Looks a bit plain and boring. Maybe if we put in some of these, like what we did on that last one, that will actually work a little bit better. Because, I don't know, I wanna, I wanna keep some level of consistency between certain builds, even though it's it's still, I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't really consider that build that much different from one of my other builds. But I thought it was a good thing to try out, and I think it does work quite well. There we go. Yeah, that's looking good. That's That made a, a massive difference. Just took away from that big, plain white area there. The other thing is, I also decided to put these in. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but I think they work really well. And they just make a little bit more... Just a little something on there, you know? Just add something extra that we don't normally have. And I, I thought it was good to try. Now, my next plan is, I want to quickly get a, well, I want to maybe plan out where I want all the stuff inside, and perhaps put in a bit of a chimney as well, because we will need something called a kettle, which is like exactly what a normal kettle does, and it boils stuff, uh, we'll put in a chimney there, and I also want to get ceilings into this place, I think that'll, that'll do a, a good, a good job of fixing up the inside, and of course put in the extra windows, so I'll be back. Alright guys, so I've put in that stuff that I was talking about, the ceiling, put in some extra windows inside, and I just want to show you uh, what I've been thinking, because I don't think I'm going to put the components in here today. I don't really have... I, well, actually, I'd probably rather get a bit of an opinion from you guys, just to tell me exactly what I need to do, because I was deciding I want to make... Basically, just think of these giant boiling things. Let's just, let's just make it generic boiling machine. And I was going to do it in a very, like, copper color, which was what I was hoping for. And I know that yellow stained clay actually doesn't work too badly. Because we have used it once before, and that was on our bell tower. If we can see it from here, I think we should be able to. Would have thought we'd be able to see our bell tower from here. Oh, man, that's right over. Yep, there we go. So that's our bell tower. And we've gone and done a copper or brass bell, whatever it is, in yellow. And I think that works really, really well. So I thought perhaps we could use it for the... Boilers and stuff in here, which we'll we'll have a look at the other thing now Which I do want to get done is remember how I said I want this whole building to be hidden behind a bunch Like a, a very thick forest of trees and I thought that would be good to maybe add in some of the trees And of course this is a, a birch forest and I do want to stay true to the fact that it is a birch forest So we'll probably do a few of those there now and I've just thought just just then That a good idea would be probably to make some of the taller birch trees. You know how you have the extra large, extra tall birch trees that generate naturally in uh, in the world, but they, you can't build them. You have to have to generate them naturally. So, well, they have to be generated on a uh, world. What is it? Uh, world generation. World gen. That's that's the word I'm looking for. So we'll do that. Grow them, and then put that in. So we've got an extra tall spruce. Uh, I, if I've said spruce, which I for some reason do every time I try and say birch. Uh, tell me that I'm, I'm messing up. So we'll do this one like that. That'll be alright. Another tall one here. And I hope this does turn out alright. Because I've never actually been too much of a fan of birch, but I think that they... I think that I could get them to grow on me. I think they could work. Uh, there we go. Those are two tall ones. Now we'll do some shorter ones. I actually don't like this block being out. I feel like they are... They're a lot more straight than, than that. There we go. Okay, perfect. In fact, we'll hide it. <laughs> Uh, the next one we'll do down here, and we'll just grow one down there, so it's a bit more thick. Yes, this is this is starting to turn out the way I was hoping. Then here. And then I also want to put in a one or two custom uh, oak trees to just break it up a bit. Because remember, a forest doesn't have all the same trees in it at all times. So, well, at all times, but uh, you know what I mean. Like, it doesn't have all the same trees, and it does sometimes have one odd one, and... Like, ma majoritively one type or whatever like that. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to add in a few extra types just to make it a bit more interesting. And I think we'll add in a small oak a small oak tree here. Sort of similar to what we did when I showed you what we did with that little pond with those trees there. We'll do one of those. 
and actually I'll probably end up having this one completely leaning over the edge here so we'll just pop in a few more leaves here and get this tree done. Alright so that tree is in and I've also put in a few extra tall birch and stuff around here. We're gonna actually fix this wall up probably next episode just to make it work as a wall retaining this area here and we'll probably end up doing something around here. We'll have to work that out. So what I've done is I fixed up the creeper hole. First of all, there's a creeper hole there. And I fixed that up. I finished this tree, which I think has turned out quite well. It's very, very dense, so you can't really see it there. But you can tell that there's another tree in the middle there. And um, I think that has turned out quite well. Then, what we are going to do, do now is I'm going to add in a few more bushes around the area. And also add in just some grass and stuff, which... I, I never used to do. I always used to find it was a bit weird adding in grass. I thought it, I didn't really like the look of grass, didn't like the look of bushes, but now I can see why it is such an important thing to do. It just adds so much more to this. In fact, do I, I do have. Perfect. We'll just fix this up. What have I done? That goes there. That goes to one. That goes to three. Perfect. All right. Never mind. I was just messing up my order on my hotbar, which which messes me up a little bit when I when I don't have it in the same order. There we go. Okay, cool. So we can put in some of these. I'll probably end up putting in some... We don't have any fences. But I'll put in some fences down the sides there as well. And we'll come to this area. I'm not going to touch there just now. I'll get to the rest of it a bit later. Then a few around there. And now we can start adding in the grass, which I said. I didn't like it. And I can see why I didn't. I can completely understand, but I don't like the look of that. That's why what I do is I take away that. I take away a few of those. And make it a bit less dense and then it looks a bit nicer because I just feel like doing that overdoes it. There's a bit too much grass there for me, for my liking at least. I want to do that, bring away a bit of those, put up a few tall ones and not too many tall ones but a few and then it will start to look a bit better like there. Look at that, what a lucky one there, we didn't get a single flower. And another one. Ah uh, no you, there we go. <laughs> So that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm just going to get rid of the flowers as I go and it looks a lot better. I want to put in some flowers, but not the not the dandelions or the poppies. I feel like they aren't very good looking flowers. If, if I had a choice between flowers, I would definitely not use them. They're just so plain and uh, small. Maybe some tulips and some, not mushrooms, orange tulips and a few lilacs could be good there. Actually, let's add in a bit of orchids as well. Make it a little bit more blue. So we'll put in one of those lilacs there, one around there, and another one in over here. Finish it off with one or two. And now I think this area will start to look a lot better. I actually have to do a bit more here. There. Yeah. This will this will make a world of a difference, I would hope. And that one tall as well. Yeah, look at that. That's just fitting in a lot better than what it was before. And obviously we'll have to touch on a few of the other areas, but I think it is definitely coming along a lot, a lot more than it was. Okay, perfect. I want to step back a little bit more as well, by the way. I want to just have a look from over here. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I didn't want you to see it. I could... Remember how I said, actually, at the beginning of the episode, we want the... You want to see, like, the tip of the roof. You want to see a little bit of stuff there. But not too much, and I think that is what we have achieved. Let's let's go down here. I'll have to put in some trees on this side here. Now, the final place to check is from around this way. Which, yeah, you can't see anything. You can't. That's perfect. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, so today, guys, I think that will do the episode. I, I wanted to get that stuff done. I would have hoped to have got the interior stuff done. That's good, how it's sticking out there. Yeah, I would have hoped to have got the interior stuff done, but of course, we don't get everything our way every time. And I, I think it'll also be better if I think it out before I built it. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.